CIA agent do you know? What CIA agent do you know is going to jump in front of a bullet for a black woman? Y'all remember that? So they made Agent Ross the savior of the movie. Subliminally, the white man saved Wakanda. And the hate you give subliminally, Star's white privileged boyfriend helped her regroup psychologically and supported her towards getting involved in the protest that day. Subliminally, you still have the white male in these black movies serving as the hero. The hero. Subliminally, it's still there. The white savior is always present even in the black community. Even in the black community. Oh, yes. And what I also thought was interesting, and again, the movie gets an A+. Plus. You should go see it. Take your children to go see it. Excellent job, Russell Ornsby. Best supporting actor this year. I don't care what other movie comes out. We need to support our brothers and sisters who was in this movie. Nearly every actor, I'm well, every actor I'm a fan of. Every actor in the movie I'm a fan of. I loved it. It's one of my new favorite movies. But we still have to do the analysis. We still have to do the analysis. We still have to do the analysis. What was very clever, very clever about the hate you give was the bait in the switch that happened. There was a bait and switch that happened in the hate you give. What was the bait and switch, Dr. Umar? The bait and switch was, this was a movie about police genocide. This was a movie about police genocide. And although this was a movie about police genocide, the movie ends not with the police being brought to justice, but with Keen, the drug dealer, being brought to justice. Isn't that interesting? What happened to the original plot of the movie? What happened to the original plot of the movie? This movie was about police genocide. And we never, ever saw the cop again. After he murdered Ralph from New Edition, the actor who played Ralph from New Edition, I don't know the brother's name, but after he murdered the young brother, Star's friend in the car that night, we never saw the police again. That was very telling. That was very telling because symbolically, do you know what that says? Let's look at the conditioning. Let's look at the subliminal message. Symbolically, what that says is the police are off limits. Symbolically, what that says is the police are untouchable. Symbolically, what that says is we will never let Hollywood make a movie that puts the police on trial. He walked. You never saw him again. And the movie climaxes, ends not with the police who murdered the brother being brought to justice, but the drug dealer going to jail. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And if you're not politically astute and conscious while you're watching this movie, you'll get caught up and say, okay, good. They got drugs off the street. They didn't get drugs off the street because drugs come in through the CIA. Central Intelligence Agency sells the drugs, brothers and sisters. They didn't take any drugs off the street. We don't fly it. We don't grow it. We don't float it. We don't distribute it. We don't drive it. Okay? Systems. Stop looking at little drug dealers in the hood. We want to demonize little drug dealers in the hood. If you want to stop drugs, you stop it at its source. You want to stop drugs, you stop it at its source. But instead of the police being brought to justice... The drug dealer goes to jail. And yes, he should have for trying to burn Star and Seven up in that store. But what I also notice, as strong as the character was, as good as a father Russell Ornsby character was, they still tried to taint him somewhat. Was it necessary 
for the character played by Russell Ornsby to have a baby on his wife while they were broken up. Was it necessary to put that in there? Was it necessary? Why did he have to be guilty of infidelity? Why? Why? Hmm? Why did the character played by Common, the police officer, Star's uncle, why did he have to be more loyal to the police than to his family? Why? Is it because the character played by Common and the character played by Russell were alpha males? And if you notice, the new narrative of Hollywood is to never project alpha males in a positive role. T'Challa in Black Panther was not a alpha male. He was beta. Killmonger was an alpha and they made him the antagonist. Jab M'Baku of the Jabari tribe in the mountains. He was an alpha male. They made him an antagonist. The hate you give. Russell Ornsby, alpha male. He cheated on his wife. Common, the alpha police officer. He's not loyal to black folks. Why is it the alpha male is always demonized? Why is the alpha male always demonized? Why is the new narrative of Hollywood to demonize the alpha male? Because there's a war against the black family. Black on black love is illegal. Black on black love is illegal in the UK. Black on black love is illegal in Canada. Black on black love is illegal in France. Black on black love is illegal in Australia. Black on black love is illegal in the United States. They don't want to see no more black on black 